Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a how to Tuesday on how to sit up the right way, how to sit up properly. Because did you know that we might just be doing it the wrong way? That could actually cause us more back trouble, or if you have a diastasis recti, it could separate that. Um, continue to keep that separated rather than closing the gap that you might have after pregnancy or even guys have it sometimes. So if you are new here, um, let me say hello, sorry, comment below. Um, let me know where you're watching from. I'm Tori Levine. I'm the founder of Babies at the Bar and I'm a pre and postnatal, I can't even talk today. I'm a pre and postnatal fitness um, expert. I've been featured in Shape and Fit Pregnancy, and I really um, focus on bar and Pilates work with my clients. So, um, hi Joe, hello. <laughs> um, so, what we're going to talk about today is how to sit up properly, and this is great. Number one, you should be doing it when you're pregnant because if you sit up the wrong way, it's like doing a crunch and you don't want to have that pressure on your abdominal muscles once baby's growing because then that can cause diastasis recti. Um, and then afterwards too, while you're working on healing that, and it's also good as you get older and if you have any back problems, how to get up the right way. So without further ado, what you're going to do is... So say you're laying down like this. What most people do, and you know I, I do it all the time in the morning, is I just go like this, like get up, which you really is not the proper right way to get up or lie down. What you should do is you should pull that belly button in nice and tight, engage um, your core, and roll yourself to the side one way or the other. Again, keeping that core nice and tight and engaged, then you're just gonna press yourself up into a seated position. So since we do that getting up, we're also gonna do the same thing as we get down. So we can just slide ourselves to the side, keeping that core nice and tight, and then roll ourselves over. So something fun you can practice while you're playing with your kids. Um, try to remember when you're tired and getting out of bed in the morning or if you have to go, um, if baby's crying <laughs> and you have to go get them. I know it's we can't, it, we're not going to do it 100% of the time until it's really ingrained in our bodies. But that's just one tip so that you can get yourself um, connected a little bit more in that core, get stronger so you can chase after baby and uh, reduce any lower back pain you have. So thanks for stopping in for our How To Tuesday tip. I would love to hear from you. Comment below on anything you are interested in learning about, a how-to fitness, anything as a new mom that you're struggling with that you would like to have a little how-to, get answers from other moms. Just comment below, and if you're watching the replay, please still say hello and comment. Um, and give me any ideas that you would like to see for a How To Tuesday uh, tip. We are starting, I'm starting to do a lot more videos and they are publishing over on YouTube and you're gonna get little snippets and previews on Facebook and Instagram. But to get the full video and to get notified right away, if you wanna head over to the YouTube channel, so it's Babies at the Bar, um, on YouTube and click subscribe and also comment there like any videos that helps to send YouTube will help give that out to more people so that more new moms can get help and learn more about core and pelvic floor fitness. So thanks yeah. for stopping in. Uh, have a great day.